Joining us now, Fabrice Epelboin, who teaches information warfare at the French Political Science Institute, uh, Sciences Po. Uh, was pulling this movie from movie theaters overreaction? Well, better safe than sorry. Who knows what could have happened? What, what could have happened? I mean, I, I don't even know. Well, maybe a terrorist attack, but I mean, a terrorist attack done by hackers never been seen before. Probably nothing. I mean, were you surprised that these that these movie chains, uh, one by one, the cinema houses said they weren't going to show the movie? Well, I, I, I'm not surprised anymore by anything done by Sony because Sony was first attacked in 2011, and it was a major disaster. Millions of credit card numbers, millions of login and password had been published online, led to thousands and thousands of hack everywhere on the, uh, on the planet. So it's not the first time Sony is attacked this way by mean hackers. And this time, it's even worse than the, the first time. It, it, is it that all companies are vulnerable, or is it Sony in particular that has a poor firewall? No, uh, all companies are vulnerable. Uh, you have to understand that 100% online security is not possible. It's just a concept. You cannot achieve 100% IT security. And all big major corporations like Sony have breaches here and there. So if one of those major big corporations is attacked, then they have to understand and react appropriately. Obviously, Sony has learned from those previous attacks. And obviously, Sony is. So you're saying reacting. Sony could have prevented this? No, Sony could not have pre prevented the attack, but they could have learned from the previous attack and reacted in a more appropriate way. What would have been a more appropriate way? Probably uh, try and ease off, uh, probably pay the hackers uh, before this story be, uh, being on all the media outlets on the world. Hang on, pay the hackers? Because uh, now there's U.S. federal investigators saying North Korea is behind it. Nobody really believes that, obviously. The only uh, media outlet who uh, is saying this is the New York Times, the same media who was saying that there was weapons of mass destruction all over Iraq. Why uh, don't you think it could be North Korea? Well, first of all, uh, the story about North Korea first appeared in media before the hackers even told the media that, yeah, that could be North Korea and this movie should be banished from being published anywhere. Uh, so the chances are that the media fueled this story to the hacker, creating a sophisticated storytelling about a North Korean evil leader uh, ha hacking Sony. But, you know, some, uh, some hints... Um, led to France, other uh, point to Germany, others pointing to China. It could be anybody, and it most probably isn't a state uh, attack. Pro most probably not a state attack, and you're saying there's probably been a ransom note. Probably, yes. And in the past, uh, hackers have been then employed by major companies. Yeah, of course. Uh, major companies employ hackers to hack other uh, companies, uh, state employ hackers to hack states or even company. It's a huge business. Or to help by. prevent future hacking. Uh, it's, it's absolutely not possible to prevent any kind of hacking these days, uh, considering that those big corporations has, has not been invested, uh, investing any money on security. Should, so, we, should we be worried, Fabrice Epelmoin, or should we just take this with what? A bit of fatalism. That, um, I think we should take this with a bit of fatalism provided we're not Sony. Sony should be really worried, but it's not a major, major uh, problem. I mean, this movie is obviously not a great piece of art. Uh, it will probably be released on peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network, so we will get to see it. It will be a huge loss for Sony, but I mean, who cares?